I'd like to extend a huge thanks to everyone supporting me so far. It really means a lot for me, as it is the sole reason I've been able to pump out more videos than usual. For anyone who does not know, I offer professional coaching sessions for students looking to grow more in the game. I've coached some top and high-level players such as Zaviel, Bankai Zero Suit, and other students who are on the rise, such as Shadow28, an inkling player who used to struggle with the basics, now reached 65th place out of 500 plus in an online tournament in the short time we've had together. I am currently taking in students of all levels, whether you're a beginner or a high level player looking to reach that top level, and it does not matter what character you main or what background you are from, I am very confident I can help you become a way better player than you are now. If you're interested in knowing how I work, I also stream on twitch.tv slash ffmitten. I stream from Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I do my coaching sessions. I also offer high-quality advice, and I coach viewer battles if you're interested in trying out some of my coaching. All right, so that's it for now. Thank you so much for, for listening in, and enjoy the rest of the video. Hello everyone, Mitten here with a new video on the Zero Suit Mastery Guide, this one being for Let's Trapping. <laughs> That's right, we're finally getting into the in-depth Zero Suit stuff and it's only going to be more interesting here onwards. There's many videos about Let's Trapping on YouTube, so I'm not going to go too in-depth on what Let's Trapping is, rather I'm going to focus on what Zero Suit can do within this phase and how powerful it is for her as a whole. So, without further ado, let's cut to the chase. Let trapping in a nutshell is the idea of keeping the opponent in disadvantage by hitting them as they get up from the ledge and not letting them reset neutral for as long as possible. The key to successful let trapping is understanding that even if you miss your get up punish, understand that the opponent is still cornered and they still have to escape the corner for your pressure and let trapping to be denied. The more you reset advantage by continuously sending the opponent off stage, the more percent you'll continue to rack which will facilitate kills later on when there are key percents due to this. Considering all of this, you always want to actively prevent your opponent from successfully doing a roll getup as it is the only option that directly allows your opponent to take back the center. Mentioning getup options, when the opponent is holding the ledge, there are six universal options you have to consider. These are normal getup, attack getup, roll getup, jump getup, which is unreactable because its startup is frame 3, so it must be anticipated, drop down double jump, and holding the ledge or stalling. The higher the percent, the faster the intangibility wears off for the stall for the ledge stall in anim animations. Holding the ledge or stalling. Considering stalling as in holding the ledge, the higher the percent uh, of the person holding the ledge, the faster the intangibility will wear off. However, an additional note to this, the more time an opponent spends off stage without holding the ledge, the next time they hold the ledge, their intangibility will be much longer. Now, We'll take a quick look at the three key positions within ledge trapping, mention why they are good, and how you can apply them. Position number one. This position is just outside getup attack range. This position can cover every getup option reliably except for jump, since again, jump is unreactable. The opponent has a very easy time crossing you up if you fail to read this getup. In this position, it is preferred to shield, as shielding generally allows you to safely threaten your opponent's safety. If they get up attack, you can attack them with any move. If they do any aggressive option, like jump, jump, and then drop down aerial, uh, you can also react with any out of shield to beat them. Depending on the position in which you use your shield, you are also able to beat roll, uh, jumps, drop down double jump, as well as many other options. And you're also in a good position to be able to punish let stall.
so be careful when applying this position. Position number 2. Position number 2 is located just outside roll distance, however for Zero Suit, she has to place herself a little bit closer than that for the sake of maximizing her kit's utility. This position overall allows you to cover center stage while still covering rolls and jumps much easier. Since you don't lose positioning from this and a Zero Suit, you are still able to cover normal and attack getups as well. The main idea to cover, the main idea to cover roll distance is generally to gauge your opponent and see what options he likes to go for safely and methodically since you get to understand your opponent while reducing the risk of your opponent taking back center. This position has the least risk but also generally the least reward compared to the other two positions. This position covers 4 out of 6 options. These cover every options except for stall and drop down double jump. Finally, position number 3. Position number 3 is either on top of a platform or being airborne. This position reliably covers 5 out of 6 options, jump being the one very difficult to cover. In this position, getups are mainly punished by landing aerials, but this position is mostly beaten by rolls or good drop down usage. However, with good reaction time and execution, counterplay can be mitigated. This position is powerful, as you can land Zerosuit Samus' signature ledge kill options basically at any moment. Picture for a moment that you're Peach floating, just waiting for a ledge getup option to land with fast fall nair at this point no matter what the opponent does. This is basically what this platform allows. Now this is the hardest position to master, but also, in my opinion, the most rewarding. Now we're going to go ahead and talk about ledge trap movement. How to move within the positions for you to be able to set up proper ledge trapping. Your objective while moving within the ledge trap positions is to cover center while also covering jump getup preemptively. Considering your main goal is to cover center, the main getup option you want to cover is roll getup. Because this option is the only getup that allows your opponent to gain center directly. All the other getups need two steps, first get up without getting punished and then step two getting away from the corner, ultimately reaching the center. Practice how to seamlessly move by walking, running, crawling, short or full hopping, throwing out attacks to preemptively to cover jumps and also applying wave landings into the platform uh, while also being readily available to punish roll getups at the same time. This is one of the more difficult things to do with ledge trapping, however, applying this effectively will increase your ledge trapping game exponentially. Ledge Trapping Flow Ledge trapping will become unpredictable by using flow, which will be the main way most of the options will be covered. By seamlessly switching with between positions 1, 2, and 3 to cover multiple options. This position will influence your opponent's options as well as your counterplay by moving within the three basic positions mentioned, while still actively scouting the getup options the opponent might do. You can become an active threat for the opponent as any options they might take you should be available to punish. This is incredibly hard to do, but the most rewarding takeaway from ledge trapping as your opponent will never know what you will go for specifically as you will be able to shift between the three positions virtually at will. From position 1, you can shift to position 2 and 3. From position 2, you can shift to position 3 and 1. And then from position 3, you can shift to 1 and 2. This makes it so your flow will always be unpredictable and ever-changing. The key is to not make a pattern, rather abuse the fact you have these options and be elusive with your knowledge. Now that we understand the theory behind all this, let's look at visual representations when ledge trapping to cover many options. These are all the proper punishes I found to punish various getups.
Thank you so much for watching the video and hope you guys have a great day. Oh, finds the back here. The arson is gone. Oh, oh my God! Did you see the pose?